Hammer time. Go. 7.53. There is the hammer. I wish Star Wars we were reviewing a Star Wars movie, but you'll have to wait till May 25th. A couple weeks away. Not yeah. bad. Uh, let's talk about this Paranoid drama, uh, Tully, taking theaters this weekend. Yeah, this stars Charlize Theron reteaming with Jason Reitman, of course, Canadian director who uh, worked with her in Young Adult. And this time around, she plays an overworked mother of three who is gifted a night nanny by her brother. Take a look. You seem like a great mom. <laughs> Great moms organize class parties and casino night. They bake cupcakes that look like minions. All the things I'm just too tired to do. Honestly, even getting dressed just feels exhausting. I open my closet and I just think, didn't I just do this? Yeah, but that's the downside of living on a planet with a short solar day. Although Jupiter's even shorter. You're like a book of fun facts for unpopular fourth graders. Oh, man. This, so the movie is a trifecta of goodness because of director Jason Reitman, Diablo Cody, who wrote the script, and this blistering performance from Theron. Also, Mackenzie Davis from Vancouver, who you see in that clip. Uh, you may recognize her from Blade Runner 2049. She was in the classic episode of Black Mirror. She plays this night nanny, and she's just tremendous. And the chemistry they build and this bond they form is palpable. But, I mean, uh, this is the third time Diablo Cody has worked with Reitman. Uh, she wrote Juno, Young Adult, and this one. And the results are so successful because Theron has such a great skill for taking the script and um, turning it into something sensitive, funny, and heartbreaking at the same time. And then you mix that with a competent, sensitive direction of Reitman. It is a powerful examination of the trials and tribulations and all of the stress and anxiety that comes with child rearing and motherhood. If you're a new mom, if you're pregnant right now, if you're on the fence about having kids, this probably isn't going to help you in terms of promoting kids in pregnancy, but I think it was a um, oddly refreshing movie because it was just a no-holds-barred account of all of the struggles that come with motherhood. And some of which filmed in Vancouver. Uh, we heard from the local yeah. actors uh, in this movie, too. Uh, where do you think this will stand at the box office this weekend? I don't know. It's not really uh, one of those movies that's going to do extremely well at the box office and rake it in. You know, it's, it's a kind of a niche film, but it was beautifully made. It's got such a great screenplay, and uh, again, I really think Theron should get an Oscar nom for this movie. It was one of her best, most remarkable performances. She gained 50 pounds for the role. She's dressed down, not a lot of makeup. It's all there on screen. And it just, she's done a lot of action films in the last couple of years. And for her to go back and do something like this, it just shows her amazing range. So I love this film. Uh, really tremendous and uh, thought provoking uh, story. How many hammers? Four out of five. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We'll look out for that at the box office. Thanks, right. Thorpe. We'll take a break.